Hi and welcome to tutorial number five. Today I'm going to touch briefly on some image editing tools that I think would be of use to you. So um, really in order to take your website to the next step you'll need some um, some better banners or buttons or the ability to crop and edit some of your images or logos. So um, what's going to be particularly useful for you um, are these image editing tools. So there are three of note that I recommend for, uh, for basic use and depending on the platform that you're on um, that will generally depend on which one you'll use. So um, firstly the two for a Windows based um, platform are uh, firstly paint.net so paint.net um, is really basic, uh, very helpful, um, and uh, you can get to grips with basic cropping, layers, um, that kind of thing. So um, this is the website, so it's paint.net. Ignore the Warren Paint and Color. I think originally they owned the URL and kindly agreed to share it with the company paint.net. Um, so if you click on paint.net here, uh, the logo, um, it's all very confusing because a lot of the money they earn comes from, um, you know, advertising and sponsorship so they're trying to encourage you to click on these links so um, the top right here is paint.net version 3510 at the time of recording this so um, it's really as simple as just clicking on the uh, download like I said these are really confusing don't just click on anything straight away that's not the download for this this is the download for the PDF converter very confusing so just have your wits about you don't go clicking willy-nilly just make sure you know what you're clicking on first so here is the actual um, download for paint.net so click on this download paint.net um, once you've got it going um, you'll notice some um, kind of layers and, and screens and menus once you're in the software but um, it's really easy to use so I'll just uh, go in obviously we can do a whole tutorial on this I just wanted to show you some basics which apply to all kind of image editing so we'll go in and we'll open up a image so here I have a Skype logo everyone's familiar with this so immediately we can see um, it's opened the image for us and this checkered background this indicates that the background is transparent. So in the previous tutorial number four, we touched on the YouTube logo that I added to my website as having a transparency, and it was a .png image. So this is a .png image. So if it's a checkered background like that, that means that when you drop this on your site or anywhere else, um, the, uh, the background that you're actually putting on will show through on that checkered image area. Um, on your right-hand side here, we have a layers panel we can create a new layer. Um, I'll drop this below the Skype logo and potentially if we wanted a black background um, behind the Skype logo, we create um, a black color here. We go up to our paint bucket tool here and we just click on that background and immediately we have the black background. There's all sorts of tools in here. I'm just gonna touch on them so um, we can crop and delete. Um, we can select the image and we can resize it. Um, it's really endless. I mean, you know, we could do a whole kind of two hour tutorial on this, but I just wanted to show you that this exists. It's relatively powerful. You're never going to kind of create world break breaking uh, graphics in this, but it's really handy just cropping, editing, making transparencies, resizing, that kind of thing. Very, very handy. Um, so I'll just leave that. Um, the second Windows based editing software um, that I recommend is GIMP. Um, we're up to 2.6 at the time of recording this. Um, as you can probably notice immediately, um, it's a bit more in involved and there's probably more features in this based um, on the site alone. So, um, you know, you can download it up here. Um, it's quick to download and relatively simple, a bit more advanced than paint.net, but you're going to get the same features and the ability to create some uh, extra features for your for your website. So they're the two for the Windows platform. If you're running a, uh, running a, a Mac and you're running... Um, Lion, for example, uh, the software I recommend here is Pixelmator. Now, this isn't free. GIMP and Paint.net are free. Pixelmator, um, although um, you do have to pay for it, it's ridiculously cheap, and I cannot say enough good things about it. Pixelmator is probably the best Im uh, image editing software I've ever used. I'll just scroll down here. You can see... Um, <clears throat> just a brief overview of some of the features so I mean it's the interface is just clean and crisp really beautiful to use um, they've just added uh, some more functions a major release and they've just released their 2.0 version 2.0 so if you're on a Mac I seriously recommend you download Pixelmator it costs $29.99 um, US dollars an absolute bargain it'll do pretty much everything you'll need everything that Photoshop can do um, minus a few other kind of uh, more in-depth functions but pretty much everything you'll need will be in here so I recommend get in download it 
um, and start editing some of your images for your websites, things like your buttons and your banners and, and cropping and transparency. So um, they're the three editing software uh, tools that I recommend. First one is paint.net, completely free. The second one is GIMP, completely free. And then thirdly, if you're running a Mac, Pixelmator um, is $29.99. Um, so get on and just stop playing around and start learning them. Thanks for listening.